If you're using a classic insulin pen to inject insulin, you're doing it wrong. Seriously, it's like using an old wired phone in 2025. Hello? A few months ago, I made a big change. I switched from my insulin pump to a smart MDI system. MDI stands for multiple daily injections, which most of you probably know. But this isn't your typical insulin pen. It combines three components. A smart insulin pen, a continuous glucose monitor, and a phone app where all the magic happens. After testing this system for a couple months, I can honestly say that it opened my eyes to the power of smart insulin dosing and connected pens. Let me explain. This old phone makes phone calls, but that's it. A smartphone can do a ton of other things. Now take this basic pen, it injects insulin. But for me, managing diabetes is about so much more than that. It's about measuring my glucose, calculating how much insulin to inject, tracking what I eat and how much insulin I take. The smart MDI system can do all these things for me. In fact, it can do a lot more than that and we'll cover all these things in this video. Big thanks to Medtronic for making this video possible. The smart insulin pen I'm talking about is called InPen and you can use it with most rapid acting insulin cartridges. The InPen is reusable for up to one year. So whenever one vial is empty, I take it out, rewind the metal screw and pop a new vial in. Another advantage of InPen is that it lets me dose insulin in half unit increments. This allows me to be more precise with my meal and correction doses. For me this is super important because half a unit of insulin can make 30 to 40 units difference in my post meal sugar levels. I have my in pen in grey color, but depending on the country and type of insulin used, there are more colors available. Now what I really love about this system is that both the smart pen and my CGM pair with my phone via Bluetooth. I'm sure many of you want to ask what phones and CGMs are supported and I have good news for you. In pen works with most iPhones and Android phones, so unless you have a really old model, it'll probably be supported. In terms of CGMs, I tested the system with Simplera sensor, which is the latest CGM sensor from Medtronic, designed specifically for this smart MDI system. But many of my friends in the US use InPen with other CGM brands. More about that a bit later in this video. Now, after using this smart MDI system for a month, I've narrowed it down to 10 features that I've relied on the most. Starting with number one. You see, sometimes I take an insulin shot and 10 minutes later, I don't quite remember how many units exactly exactly I took, or if I took that dose at all. Does it happen to you too? That's where the InPen app comes in. It automatically records every insulin dose delivered by the connected pen. Even if I take a quick correction in the middle of the night, I don't need to log anything manually. The app just remembers it. I can always go back and check whether I took that shot and how many units I injected. So if you are as forgetful as I am, this feature will make sure that you will never forget again. Another InPen feature, number two, that made my life a lot easier easier is the dose calculator. The app can recommend my optimal insulin dose based on my current glucose from the CGM sensor, the size of my meal and the active insulin on board. The only thing I need to do is to type in how many carbs I'm going to eat. The app will do the math for me based on the initial settings agreed with my healthcare provider and recommend how much insulin I should take. Now let's be honest, most of the time we just estimate the amount of carbs in the meal and some of us don't even know how to properly count carbs. And that's okay. But the nice thing is that the smart MDI can help with that too. I just need to tell the app whether I'm eating a low carb, a medium carb or a high carb meal using the meal estimate mode setting. And it will recommend the right dose. Moving on to next feature, number three. You know those days when your glucose is high, you take a correction dose, but your sugar keeps creeping up. So you do another correction and then another one. And in a couple hours, your glucose suddenly crashes to too low. I'm sure this happened to all of us. But the thing is, InPen can help with this because it keeps track of how much insulin I took and how much is still active in my body. In fact, the dose calculator I showed you earlier takes active insulin on board into account, so I can use it for corrections as well. I don't need to do the math myself. For me personally, learning about active insulin on board and how to work with it made glucose control so much easier. So if you're not using this in your diabetes management, you're probably missing out. Now, before we get to the next exciting feature, I just want to remind you to work with your healthcare provider to set your insulin to carb ratio, target range, active insulin time and correction factor anytime you're starting with a new system. But moving on to another feature of this smart MDI system, number four. 
The thing is, I think of the InPen app as my primary diabetes therapy display because it shows all the information I need in one place. Just like with other CGM apps, I can view my current CGM reading from the sensor, glucose trend arrow, and my glucose graph over the past 24 hours. But on top of that, I can also view a visual of any insulin I locked. It's below the glucose graph in blue color and any carbs I locked above the glucose graph in green color. This visual presentation is super helpful for me because I have a good idea what's happening with my glucose, my active insulin on board and active carbs at any point in time. When I'm flying blind, I often make wrong treatment decisions. But when I see the things locked and visualized, I tend to get things right a lot more often. And that helps me keep the sugar levels in the optimal range. Moving on to the next exciting feature of the Smart MDI system. Number five, do you ever sit down, enjoy a meal, and an hour later check your CGM only to see your glucose sky high because you forgot to take insulin? It happens to me too sometimes, and I can tell you, forgetting to bolus and seeing that sugar sky high in the 300s is one of the most annoying things about diabetes. But it's actually something that the smart MDI system can also help with, because whenever the app sees that my glucose started to rise, but I didn't take any insulin dose, the app will notify me. If I missed an insulin dose, I can have the app help calculate the dose I missed and take the insulin right away, which is super helpful. Now, if you are an experienced CGM user, you might be thinking, so how is the missed dose notification different from a high glucose alert on my CGM? Well, that's a great question. See, a standalone CGM will alert you whenever it sees that your glucose is high or rising quickly based on your settings. But let's be real, sometimes those alerts are not all that helpful. For example, when I take insulin and eat carb heavy meal, my glucose might spike and trigger that high alert. But I don't actually need to do anything because I know I have enough insulin on board that will bring me back to the optimal range within an hour or two, right? Now, InPen is smarter because unlike other CGMs, it can track the insulin on board and it will only notify me when I need to take action, whether I forgot to take insulin entirely or just need a correction dose. But it will not bother me just because my glucose is high, which I already know and expect. And that brings me to feature number six. The InPen Correct High Glucose Alert doesn't just tell me that I'm high, it actually recommends how much insulin I need to get back in range. Even better, I can actually customize this alert. I can tell the system, don't alert me unless I need a specific insulin dose. And this can be as low as 0.5 units for tighter control or higher value depending on how much I want to interact with the system. It's like deciding how big of a correction is it worth taking an extra shot with this needle. Now I know that this feature might sound a bit too complicated but in real life it really helped me with alarm fatigue and took away a little bit of that mental burden of diabetes now there's one more independent feature that's kind of hidden you cannot see it but it's there and it can save me a lot of trouble with my insulin the smart pen keeps an eye on the temperature of the insulin and if it gets too hot or too cold it will send me a notification now i've never had this warning come up myself but i think it's a super important feature because there is nothing worse than my insulin going bad and not working properly when i need it now to make it clear in pen is intended for rapid acting insulin only so i need another insulin pen for my long lasting insulin i take that one twice a day using a classic disposable pen but the InPen app does remind me to take my long-lasting insulin at a predefined time, which for someone like me who forgets a lot is super helpful. When I get the reminder, the app also asks me how much long-lasting insulin I'm taking and at what time, so that it can log everything for me. In other words, logging of long-lasting insulin is manual, but I really like the reminders and the option to track. Moving on to the next feature, which made my diabetes management on multiple daily injections a lot more effective. As I already told you, the InPen keeps track of my sugar levels, my rapid acting insulin, as well as my long lasting insulin and meals. Now I don't always remember to track all my meals, but the thing is, the app can create reports that I can share with my endo. When I saw these reports, I was impressed because they are as good as the reports from my insulin pump. And I hadn't realized this was possible with MDI. And to be honest, I did share these reports with my endo because I really wanted to show him how well I did when I was on MDI. By the way, he really enjoys these reports because when he has a complete set of information, he can come up with some pretty good suggestions. If I give him a chaotic handwritten notebook where half of the information is missing, he can't really do much. Now, before I talk more about the CGM sensors that you can use with the smart MDI system, which is our point number 10, I want to clarify one thing. See, as of today, I've used this smart MDI system for a couple months 
and I have to say that my control was much better than it used to be on MDI without a smart system. And the thing is, the setup is fairly easy to use. It doesn't consume as much of my mental energy as an insulin pump does. Now, I'm not saying that a smart MDI is better than an insulin pump with an automated insulin delivery system. We all have to make this choice ourselves based on our specific situation. I personally feel that I can probably achieve a slightly tighter control with a pump, but I'm curious. Do you use insulin pants or a pump? Let me know in the comments. But now let's talk about the CGM sensors you can use with this smart MDI system. I personally tested the system with Simplera CGM. The main benefit of Simplera is that it's designed to work specifically with InPen in this smart MDI setup. And that's great because all the CGM data shows up in the InPen app real time. This allowed me to use the InPen as my primary logbook and really the main diabetes therapy display that I ended up using all the time and I loved it. The only thing that bothered me about this setup was that low blood glucose alerts and sensor management need to be dealt with in a separate Simplera app. By the way, the Simplera sensors are factory calibrated, but you can also calibrate them yourself as an option. This feature is a bit hidden and I overlooked it when I was filming my Simplera review video, but it is there. But what about Dexcom and Freestyle Libre? Can you use them with the InPen? Well, it's kind of complicated and it depends on which part of the world you are in. In the US, the InPen app can get data from Dexcom G6 and Dexcom G7 sensors, but the CGM readings are always delayed by three hours. You can see the real-time readings only in the Dexcom app. And Freestyle Libre sensors currently don't integrate with InPen app at all. So to get the most out of the smart MDI features like the predictive alerts, is definitely worth to go with the Simplera sensors. If you want to know more about Simplera, just click here and watch my full review of the Simplera CGM system. I will see you in that video. Ciao.